2018, we did our country report um, to the committee. And last year, 2019, we received some, um, some issues, list of issues from the committee. So because last year, I was the children's um, coordinator, um, so I gathered all the information from the Ministries of Education, Health, Justice and Police. Um, these are the, the ministries with internal affairs. We implement the children's policy. So we gathered all these information and we um, reported back to the CRC committee in October 2019. I would also like to thank UNICEF Pacific with their technical assistance for us to put our report together. Um, their advisor, senior advisor, Tale Thama, flew over to Rarotonga to assist me in putting the report together and to send it on time to the CRC committee. Well, because we did go to a mock session in, um, in Suva two weeks prior to coming, to the actual dialogue, um, the UNICEF Pacific prepared us very well. They gave us um, examples of the type of questions that we will receive from the committee from our report. So coming to Samoa, to this dialogue, it had prepared us. And we were set to answer every question the committee has for us. Okay, um, we are very impressed about how the committee um, is asking for government to change um, some of the, the, the laws in the, the Crimes Bill because as you know that the Crimes Bill is still a bill and the, um, our legal advisor Tinka Elikana is actually the chairman of the, the committee for parliamentarians. So um, after discussions yesterday, after our discussions, he's very interested. It's about the um, corporal punishment, how, can, how parents can uh, discipline their children at a certain range, but he is now convinced that they need to take that out and other issues that the committee has brought up in the crimes bill about abortion, about, um, I don't know how to, to word it, but for the LGBT, uh, there are session, um, sections in the crimes bill. So he's very interested to, to look at this deeper and going back to the Cook Islands to talk to the committee. And he's very convinced that we are going to make a difference and to protect our children, take those sections out of the Crimes Bill. I believe at the moment things are doing well. There are a few tweaks that we need to, I believe and our team believe the best thing is to go out into the community into the schools and talk to them about the Convention of the Rights of a Child. But to reassure to you, um, when I was the coordinator, I started in 2018, the implementation of the children's policy. I've already done that. We've already gone out into the community. You see there's 15 islands in the Cook Islands. We've already been out to the outer islands, explaining to the people about the Convention of the Rights of a Child, which they did not know. And a lot of the parents, the majority of the parents were angry about government um, accepting the, the CRC, but because they didn't understand. They said that it took away the rights of a parent. Every time we do our presentation, we have a, a chart or a pull-up with, with all the articles and I explain to them Article 18, it says parents still have responsibility to their children. Now that is all, right now we need the, the, the support of the parents to understand and that I believe 
will make a better life for our children. They need to understand they can discipline their children, but by talking to them, explaining to them why it's done. And I've even explained to them, if you hit your child, if you abuse your child with broken bones, you know, they will be arrested. I know this firsthand experience, I am an ex-police officer, so I have seen all this in the past, but slowly the parents, our people are coming to understand. To discipline our, your child, you don't hit them, you talk to them, you make them understand. And I believe this will be the one. We will make a difference if our parents understand the purpose of the Convention of the Rights of a Child.